Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to do another demi tutorial. We are going to tackle the under eye area. I feel like that's an area for a lot of people that they don't like, they would like to cover up some darkness under their eyes um, or some discoloration. And typically with traditional makeup, you sacrifice those dark circles for a little bit of makeup texture because our under eye area is so delicate and the skin is so delicate that any amount of makeup added on top of it can add texture and add that makeup texture, make them look dry, um, lots of other issues. And so that's why Demi Color is so amazing for the under eye area because it keeps that delicate skin looking delicate and beautiful. And it gets rid of those things that we want to get rid of without sacrificing any of the natural radiance in that area. So if you're new to Demicolor, I have a couple other videos that you might want to watch that explain more about what it is. But basically, we are going to be using, instead of covering a large surface area with makeup, trying to make it all one color like we would normally do, we're using Demicolor, which this is what it looks like, all these bright colors. And it's using color science to use complementary colors from the color wheel to neutralize colors in the face with very, very minimal product for an undetectable, no makeup makeup look. And it's perfect for the under eye area because it's going to get rid of some of my shadows that I have going on and take away those distractions so that the focus can be on my eyes and it can look a little bit more bright and that my under eye skin will still look like skin and it won't ever crease, it won't look cakey, it won't accentuate any texture or wrinkles or anything like that. And it'll just make me look like I naturally look very awake and fresh, which, you know, I'm a mom, so that's, that's a lie. I'm not awake and I am not fresh. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna do a little magic with Demi Color today. Let's get started. So a couple things. I'm going to be using my spot brush and my bright brush for everything with my eyes. I don't really think you need to use anything larger than these two brushes. Occasionally, like for um, creating an eyeshadow effect on my eyelid, I will use the blur brush, but really you wanna use very small brushes for what we're going to be doing. We're not going to be covering a large area of the skin at all, so it's gonna be very tiny adjustments with a small brush. Let's get up close and personal with my eye area and I will show you what things I don't like about my eye area that I would like to change and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so up close and personal with my under eye area. So when I look at my under eye area, the thing that jumps out to me the most is some shadows that I have in my inner corner. A lot of us have a lot of shadows right here because the skin is so thin and delicate and we can see through it to the actual blood supply. So I can see capillaries, and veins and things like that and that usually creates a lot of darkness so let's start with this eye because this one's the most dark so what i see that really grabs my attention is right here this is a lot of excess blue right here there's actually in particular i don't know if you can see it there's a capillary that goes right here vertically and that creates a lot of darkness and as i mentioned before when i tilt my head down you can see this this dark area right here that makes me look more tired because it makes this bag really visible and it makes it almost look puffier than it actually is. So I would really like to get rid of that. And that I have some darkness right here that I would like to get rid of and just a couple capillaries. Another thing to note is that I have a lot of um, melasma. Like, I don't know if you can see, like all these dark spots right here, just from the sun. There are a lot of little freckles right here. And really what it does is a lot of little dark spots create an illusion of overall darkness. So just by eliminating those little points, you can create a more brightening effect for the entire eye. The whole idea with using Demi for under eyes is being as minimal as possible. You want to correct the fewest spots that you possibly can. So the best way to do that is to usually just look at the most distracting thing, start there, then reassess, go to the next thing. Do as little as possible until your eyes look brighter and more awake. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna start with the darkest point that's the most distracting, which is right here, and that is a capillary right there, and it's it's pretty blue. So I'm gonna take 01, which is orange, and I'm gonna very carefully just paint over where I see that capillary. I have to be quiet, I'm focusing. <laughs> so yes, that looks silly but just watch in a second. I'm gonna grab a couple other little veins that I see that are just sort of popping out to me that look blue that are distracting. Since I have some orange on my brush already, I like to flip the brush around and just use the fluffy side to just 
very lightly diffuse those color away. I don't want to blend too much because I want that color to stay where I've applied it. I almost just sort of pat with the brush like that. And you can see it's already made the biggest difference ever. Just that little tiny bit of makeup because really covering the whole area might work, but really you're just trying to get rid of a couple little spots. And once you get rid of them, the whole area appears brighter. All right, I'm gonna switch brushes to my bright brush. And I'm gonna tackle some of the, this darkness right here. This is more of a violet, excess violet blue. So it's a little bit more purpley looking. So what I'm going to use is Y01, which is a yellowy orange shade to neutralize that tone. And I'm gonna just take my bright brush and just hit right where I see that darkness. And it just, it's like a magic eraser. It shouldn't look like you're applying product so much as you're just erasing the darkness that you don't wanna see very gently. And I mean, look at, look how bright my eye already looks. I've barely done anything. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Y01 and I'm actually gonna apply just a little bit of that right here in this shadow. Just the tiniest amount, just really brightening it up. Would you just look at that difference? Isn't that crazy? I can't wait to show it before and after. <laughs> And the cool thing about this is I use such a small amount of makeup that it's, it's not gonna crease, it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't need to set it with a powder. Um, in fact, I don't wanna set it with a powder because that would just make everything look powdery and cakey when I wanna keep the radiance of the, my natural skin. So we're done. I'm gonna catch the other eye up to speed and I'll be right back. Okay, that's it, I'm all done. It was that fast and easy. If you have a little bit more, it might take a little bit more time, but just be patient and do one distraction at a time and eventually you'll be happy with the result. And I feel like it's also helpful to know when to stop. You really don't wanna to go too far. You don't want that reverse raccoon effect where you neutralize every single little tiny thing that you see. Just learn how to do enough to really make you look awake, but natural. And get rid of some of those distracting little shadows under your eyes, but still looking like you. But I think the most important thing it, with Demi in general is when you have an area that bothers you, find the darkest point. Address that first. Just the teeniest point of that whole overall area that bothers you the most and just really jumps out to you. Maybe it's the darkest spot or just something that's the most distracting. Just do that tiny little spot first. Maybe take a step back, look at it again, reassess. Maybe do a couple other spots that bother you and then eventually the entire area will start to look brighter once you just get rid of those dark points. So that's the best way to get started. And the best part about Demi is, I mean, if I get really close to the camera, you can't see any makeup on my skin. It's totally undetectable anywhere on my face. I have Demi on the rest of my face as well. I don't actually just look like this naturally. I have removed some distractions throughout the rest of my face that you might not be able to see, but they are there. Demi is magic. If you need any help choosing a Demi edit, or if you have some specific skin concerns that you'd like to maybe pick a couple colors to address, I can help you with that. You can fill out the Demi color match form. I will put the link down in the description below, and I will help you choose some colors. I would say that most everyone needs probably some oranges and some pinks to deal with excess blue and um, green under the eyes. I feel like most people are pretty safe using those colors, but if you need help picking out colors that will address your individual concerns, let me know and I can help. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.